Okay, it's time to unbox this Iliamia touchscreen monitor. I've had it since Christmas, so I've just been too busy getting ready for weddings and stuff. And I've said in other videos, my wife has rescue cats. One of them started pissing on the box here, yeah, so it's about time to open it. It's a bit dusty in the house uh, at the moment with the cat litter situation. They'll be going outside soon, so I won't know so much. So that's why I've avoided it. Let's open it up and see what it does. So we'll pause it and see. Okay, so we just sliced along the edge here. Let's open it up. Hopefully it will keep it dry. If it smells of cat piss, that thing's going to be... Actually, I think he's already neutered. So what's that? Some sort of mount by the looks of it. And then it's well packaged in its stuff. Let me pause that and I'll pull that out. So it comes with... Um, let's turn that light on. Maybe a bit of light might help. It comes with a manual... So Iliam, we used to use those years ago in military research, and they're really good monitors. Standard sort of plug lead, British. What's that? Uh, some sort of audio jack, by the looks of it. Three and a half mil. Okay, some sort of USB cable. I assume that's what goes in the back and makes it act like a pointer. And what's that? An H oh, an HDMI cable. That's quite nice. I've already got one. And then the actual thing itself. Okay. Wonderful. Put that down there. So that the good news is that has kept it dry. Just move that round a second. And the silica gel has warmed up the cat piss and it doesn't smell of cat pee. I don't know why they're fascinated by it. I suppose they want to mark territory. Okay, let's take the plastic off. IPS, a nice attention when connected. So what I'm going to do now, I'll pause it. That's what you get in the box. It says it's catch, uh, I can't talk today. It's a touch screen, a capacitant touch screen, 22 inch. So I've got the little pie here. It hasn't, it's not being cooked. It's, we're going to cook it in a minute. And I'll pause and we'll get on and see what happens as we put it together. So there's another quick start and it makes it look like it goes on like this. So the plinth is going that way and it gives us these screws here. Let's just open them up. Oh, there's one. They're supposed to be thumb screws. They all look the same. Now I see, look, there's a little, you twist it like that, go in. Uh, let's try and get it in the right angle. Let's do it this way, sorry. Yeah, that's pretty good. So you put them in diagonally opposite, I guess. And then they fold back. That's quite neat, actually. Yeah, it's hand tight. It's fairly tight. A bit like tuners on a base. So let's put it in. So it's a bit tricky getting the thread lined up at first. But then it goes in. That's it. And I think there's a visa panel on the back. I'm going to look for that in a minute. The thing I don't know is whether the Pi in its little Argon 1 case has a visa mount or not. I'm sure a bit of tape will solve that. Yeah, that's a bit tricky getting it started. Come on. I'll pause and get on with that helm. Okay, done. What's nice is a little hole through here that goes out there. Oh, sorry, let me see it through there, and then there's a gap, so your cables can go at the back. So let's just orient it in the right angle. In fact, we turn it on its side, so we've got HDMI, the host cable, VGA, and I guess a display port, and it looks like at the bottom there is the 35 mil, and then the power supply. So let's go and put those in. So the first thing to notice, the... USB has got these, I don't know if they're capacitors or whatever on the end of them, something there. And I tried going through that way and down, it was hard. The HDMI I threaded from this end in, this one it's quite difficult getting it through, and teasing it up, and now it's through, it can plug in oh, that side, it goes to the right over there. So I'll just plug that in. So, so far we've got the 3.5mm the, the HDMI and the necessary port for controlling the touchscreen. Quite tight to get it through there. And it, it seems like a lot of space, but there isn't actually. 
uh, because the end leads get in the way of each other. So if I had to put the other two in, that might be tricky. Anyway, let's see what happens when we plug it in. So we've got the Pi, we've just plugged in the HDMI cable, the 3.5mm jack, we might not use that, and we plug the uh, USB input to the top there. Uh, sometimes the, this is the case with the uh, M2 SATA in it, and that gets in the way, so I had to shave that off, but there's just enough space to get it in there, and I'm using a USB hub there, non-powered, and that program, that should handle the keyboard which got keypad but we'll basically uh, and then the earphones if you want to use those so we'll just basically power that up to get it out of the way and see what it looks like on the monitor so we put the little pie under here is there enough space to put my hand around to push the button let's see yeah there is that's coming on how do we switch it on i guess it's this one here yep oh wow it's pretty bright now there is a cover on it in a minute so that's why it's getting all my reflection and stuff. I stand away the light, it might look a bit bad. HDMI is coming up, let's stick that there. Uh, it's thinking, what are you thinking? RetroPie, yay, that's pretty good. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Takes a little while to boot up. Um, it's got the uh, SATA, but still, there we are, that's working, okay. So let's see, does that work? Okay. Yeah, so that's working in a minute. So the standard touch screen there is working. We can start something. It's a different color. I have a 32 inch normally. It's actually, I, uh, the, the text is really crisp. Normally I have a 32 inch, this is 22. And the text is beautiful. I always remember Iliama. Uh, L-S-U-S-B. What can we see? Uh, don't know. Don't know if I recognise that one. That's the Sartler. That's the normal hub. One of those is. No, oh, let's find out. Oh, hey, you see, it's doing stuff. I haven't to do anything. I just booted it. This is the first time me find. I just booted it. It works. Can I grab that? That's moving. Ah, okay. Look, that's moving the mouse. Look. Okay. So can I start something up here? Yes. Uh, I don't know. Let's start the internet. Chromium web browser. Now I don't know if it will work here because normally the internet is crappy. Where and what have we got here? We're on the five G. Hey, so just to show you, this is the front of my house there, where the router is. The normal place I work on my Pi is over here. I'll just show you through the windows. I normally work over there and just on the end because that's my place. I can watch the garden that I've paid for. It's cool, yeah. Um, and the signal doesn't get there in the Pi, it gets blocked out, but it gets here. So that's pretty cool. Um, so can we click YouTube? Yeah, we can click it, but what does it do? Oh, I see, I have to click it like that, fine. Uh, can we see my channel? Restore pages, no. I haven't quite got used to the gesture for double clicking. Sign in, I'm not gonna do that. Um, okay, that seems to be working. Uh, all right, let's see. I was just going to pause it and see if I can find something else first. Hang on. So I'm just basically starting the GDB. Uh, I'll give you a thumb. Wow. Okay, I need to say run. This should start. I'll get down here. This should start the. Oh no, I'll stand up there because it's in the way of the light, isn't it? So I'll do that. There, I started. Ah, oh, wow. Now, that's really interesting. That's really interesting because you notice that the fonts are quite small. And on the 32 inch, these fonts are freaking huge. I mean, it, it takes up the whole goddamn screen. It's useless. So actually, I need to write to um, to the to the team there. I, I've been looking for an enhancement request to change the font. And it just seems to be that the Samsung monitor I've got, with, strictly as a telly, uh, 530, whatever, S530, that wasn't recognized properly. This one's perfect. So what happens when we go to the view, no, panel, Lua editor. Ah, oh, wow. So can we make that bigger? That's what she said, hang on. So I'm not used to it because of the angle I'm at. Let's just grab it like that. Is it working? Why won't you move? Ah, I thought, no, that's not, that's fine. Put that over there. Oh, there. 
put that up there. Right, we've got it. We can move it good. Ah, okay. So, yeah, th this is going to make my life easier. Because that font is almost too small to read now. Before, these were super huge, taking up the whole goddamn screen. Um, and it was really awful. How do I find out what resolution it's running? Give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna type something and find out. I, I'm already pretty pleased with this. Oh, there is doesn't seem to be any way to mount it on the back. Let's look at the back. I thought there was the visa mount. I suppose is for that thing. So there's nowhere to mount the pie on at the moment, but I'll find a way. Uh, but so far, so good. Hang on. Okay, so what we got here is a playback of some YouTube. And this is now the panel. You see, this here is a full 1080p, that distance there. I think this is a full 1080p. So the controller is about a quarter of the size it used to be. These multi singles are still quite big to read, but notice that the file and the edit, all these have got much smaller. It must understand the monitor and get the X scaling properly. So, so far, pretty impressed with it. So that's what I was doing there. I was clicking on that and doing that. Let's just try some of this stuff with the monitor. So let's just pause that. There. Put that out of the way. Ah, so get you out of the way, okay. There. So now we've got this. I think what I have to do is to put my finger there. There, now I can drag it, okay. That seems to have worked. Keep an eye on the debugger because every so often it will crash. So, for example, if I click on this thing, oh, there, yeah, there we go, it's come down. Loud, oh, ah, ah I made a mistake. Control Z, uh, Control E, I think it is, to put it into the right mode. There we are. So now when I click on this, I'm not editing it. So, yeah, look, loud, soft, all. So that's gone through the links. Uh, click on it there. Easy to do with this hand, sorry. Um, I can click on that. Double click there. Can I do it? It's the wrong angle. There, okay, yeah, that's right. The reason it's failed is because um, the synthesizer is not plugged in. So then it said, oh my God, I could fix that, I suppose. But, you know, it's doing something, yeah. Seems to be working. I can only do one at a time anyway. Let's try a level. Yeah, there we are. It's going up and down. Look. I uh, wish I could get a better angle. Yeah. So then it clicks onto that one, goes up, down. Yeah. Click onto that one, it goes up, down. Click there. Now oh, there. Yeah, right. Left, right. So I might have to change this a little bit with the interface. But the main thing is it's doing something. Yeah. I can click there and I can type in 56 if I can type properly. Yep, um, I can go to singles. Yep, it does that. I can move that up and down. What about these? Yeah, they're doing the business. Look, you just put you put your finger there and go up, down. Yep. Can I do two at once? I have to get another angle, and then I'm going to get in the way. Oh, let's try it with like this. Look. I don't know if I can do two at once. Doesn't look like it. it's supposed to be multi-touch, but. Might just be the way the panel works but basically i can slide that up and down and it's a bit like having a poor man's bcr 2000 or whatever it is yeah so yeah it, it seems to work reasonably well once i get used to it uh, root yes there's, there's a hesitant you see it you can't see it but when i touch the screen the screen moves at the minute and because it's on a piece of cardboard um Maybe it'd be better on the solid surface. If it isn't, then that would explain where the slight hesitancy would come from. But what I really like is that the it's kind of brighter and duller than the other screen at the same time. The contrast is better. I haven't set it up. It's all on default. Um, it seems to be doing the right thing. If I click stuff, I get more or less what I want. Um, sound is pretty good. It was only on 20% a minute ago, so it's a lot more volume. When you click this thing here, it's a bit odd though, because it comes up and I don't know what I'm supposed to do to make that volume go up, because I haven't read the manual yet, but when when I click there, it's not clear to me that it's doing what I want here, because it seems to take over from behind. So I'll read the manual on that. 
but so far very pleased with this it's going to work well i can start to design panels and super pleased that these fonts have got smaller yeah there has to be something in the monitor xdpi that tells it that's how big it is and the x renders properly on um, the other panel which was an older computer doesn't work so well so yeah i will get on with playing with this now um thank you cats for pissing on it that gave me the motivation to take it out and um i think it'd be really cool would with Ardor. Well, let's see what it does with Ardor. I, I, I'm sorry to extend it. I've taken 15 minutes already. Let me put Ardor on, see what that does. So I've just started Ardor on new session, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay. H. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Hooking's fine. There we are. Okay, start. Uh, let's see what happens. I think the Pi is a little bit underpowered for Ardor. Okay, Ardor's up. So I don't really know how to use it that much, but um, yeah, it's playing, looks playing. You see it did the play. Stop. It stopped. Okay. Uh, master. Yeah, outputs. Yeah, so it's kind of working. It's doing stuff. Um, nice size. Mixer. Drag this, drag this tab to the desktop to show the mixer in its own window. Okay, I don't know what that means. Oh, there we are. Okay, that's what it means. Uh, okay, there's some sort of mixer thing going on here. Master in, I don't know. I don't know this product well enough. It's just someone asked me once. There's little dots there. Why is that? It's just on the thing itself. So at the minute, I'm going to keep the cellophane on. It doesn't seem to change the way it works at the moment, just to keep it protected. And um, I'm going to have some fun with this. So, yeah, okay. It works really well with a Pi 4. Um, it wasn't too expensive. I can't remember the exact price. I'll put it in the details. I think it was, I'm going to say 200 quid, but I might be wrong, yeah. I had some money for my company for being a good boy, so I used that. Um, and I think it looks quite neat with the little Pi there. It's, it's quite a minimalist setup. But of course, like a duck, all the stuff's going on in the back. But the wires are in pretty good there. Um... I'll find a way to mount it if there isn't already one, and um, maybe I can get it on the back there. There's be enough space somewhere, and um, pretty good. Okay, thank you for your time, and bye bye.